Hi, creating a Google Calendar is something that's very easy to do. First, you need to have a Google account or a Gmail account. Second, you need to set up your calendar. So, what I'd like to do is show you how to set up a Google Calendar that will allow you to have multiple schedules. This is something that's really important to me, and I'm sure it's important to you. I have children, and what I find is as the school year starts, that it becomes more and more difficult to keep track of your child's schedule. So, let's set up an additional calendar in Google where we can track our children's events. So, first, let's go into more. I'm already logged into Google, and I will choose calendar. And what you notice is that in my calendar, I have multiple calendars already. I have a calendar for the website tablets for me. I have a family event calendar. And I have a school calendar for my son, Nick. Let me show you what will happen once you have these different calendar views. If I choose a month view, this is where you'll best see the value of having each one of these calendar settings or, or calendars in one calendar view. I have, as you can see here, color-coded uh, publishing days for tablets for me. I have, in my family calendar view, I have a dentist appointment, and you'll notice that it's color-coded, family vacation, as well as a parent-teacher conference. Well, my oldest son is starting track this year, and it's also going to be a challenge for us to keep track between Nick's calendar and my other son's calendar. Uh, there are different events. So what I'll do is I'll create a new calendar just for the athletic program. To do this, I'll go into my options area, choose calendar settings, and I'll choose calendars. You notice that here I have three calendars. I'll choose create new calendar, and I'll give the calendar a name. Now I could include description and I can include location information, but I'll pass. You don't have to get that complicated or put all those details. And you could modify the time zones, but uh, we're in the same state and there's no, no need for that. But here's an area that's interesting, and, and this is where you can really leverage the power of the Google Calendar. If your children have Gmail accounts, um, your family members have Gmail accounts, and they have Android phones, uh, you can actually put in their email address and invite them to this calendar. The benefit here is that your children or your family members can then see the calendar, they can contribute to the calendar, so it's not just you who's doing all the timekeeping. So by simply putting in the email address, then choosing the permission, uh, what type of controls or, or, or mo ads or modify type settings they'll have, you'll be able to allow your children to contribute. So for example, here we have make changes to events, and you also have see all events. The other uh, option that you have is make changes and manage sharing. Uh, this is more, I would look at this as, as the parent who is looking to uh, grant other family members access to the calendar. I'll keep this setting for myself. But my sons are old enough, so um, and they need to keep track of their own calendar, so I'll allow them to make changes to events. If I wanted to give access to someone else, let's say the grandparent to actually see what's going on so if you have the luxury or, or um, your grandparents help out with your kids especially when it comes to school events you could also choose for example see all events uh, details but they wouldn't be able to modify them but in this case I want my uh, oldest son to be able to modify his calendar once I choose add person they will be notified and if they're on a Google account their calendar will automatically start synchronizing with this new calendar event. I could do this for as many calendar views as I have so they can see everything that's going on in the calendar. For this illustration, I'll skip this step. I'll choose Create Calendar. Now that I've created this calendar, I'll get a notification that the calendar uh, was created, so you'll see changes saved. But more importantly, here you'll see that I have a new calendar that has shown up. I have the athletic calendar shown up. I have the ability to either display this calendar only or to hide it, but I'd like to see all the calendars. Now what I can simply do is click on a specific day and then put in an entry for that specific event. I can also then determine which calendar this is going to go against. 
If you notice, here are all my calendars, and this one happens to be the athletic calendar for my oldest son. I would choose Create That Event. Now you see that the event was added to my calendar. I can see all my children's and personal activities in one calendar view. Each one is color-coded, so I can make sure that one of us, my wife or I, will be available for this run and be available to watch our son as he competes. This is a great option for parents who have children also that are in different schools as it gives them the ability to keep track of where your kids are at and how parents have to split up and sometimes, in some cases, to be able to attend different um, activities. It's free. You can synchronize your, your calendars on the iPad, the iPhone, the BlackBerry Playbook, the BlackBerry, uh, or any Android device, be it a tablet or an Android phone. This is a quick tip that has really brought a lot of sanity to my life, and I hope it does the same for yours. Hope you enjoy the video.